Intermediate risk disease is a very large patient population. Uh, if you look, it, it probably comprises 30% of all prostate cancer diagnoses. Um, and so one thing we have learned is that not all intermediate risk disease is the same. Uh, and you can use clinical parameters to identify patients with favorable versus unfavorable intermediate risk. But something else we've learned is that you can probably use genomic features to further substratify both the favorable and the unfavorable intermediate risk uh, patients. We are trying to launch a very large phase three trial in the NRG uh, uh, clinical trials group, which I, for which I lead the prostate cancer studies. Um, and we are taking all patients with unfavorable intermediate risk prostate cancer. We are assessing decipher status on them. Patients with higher decipher score, we enroll on a phase three study of standard of care versus a more intensified treatment. Patients with low decipher score, we enroll on another phase three study of standard of care versus less intensive therapy. Decipher is certainly changing the clinical trials landscape. Um, these trials are in develop, development, and so there are many steps that need to happen before uh, they get approved. Uh, but I think that there's quite a bit of potential in terms of using Decipher to identify uh, subsets of patients that require treatment intensification or deintensification. intensification